Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Manned Spacecraft Center. This is the Apollo 11 press conference. The format today will consist of a 45-minute presentation by the Apollo 11 crew, followed by question and answer. At this time, I'd like to introduce the Apollo 11 crew, astronauts Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, Edwin Aldrin. Neil? It was our pleasure to have participated in one great adventure. It's an adventure that took place not just in the month of July, but rather one that took place in the last decade. We all here and the people listening in today had the opportunity to share that adventure over its developing and unfolding in the past months and years. It's our privilege today to share with you some of the details of that final month of July that was certainly the highlight for the three of us of, of that decade. We're going to divert a little bit from the format of past press conferences and talk about the things that interested us most, in particular the, the uh, things that occurred on and about the moon. We will use a number of films and, and slides, which most of you have already seen. And with the intent of, of pointing out some of the things that we observed on the, the spot, which may not be obvious to, to those of you who are, who are uh, looking at them here from the surf surface of Earth. The, the flight, as you know, started promptly. And I think that was characteristic of, of all the events of the flight. The Saturn gave us one magnificent ride. Both into Earth orbit and on a trajectory to the moon. Our, our memory uh, of that actually differs little from the reports that you have all heard from the, from those previous Saturn V flights. And, and those, the, the previous flights served us well in preparation for this flight in, in the boost as well as the, the subsequent phases. I'll, we, we would like to, to skip directly to uh, the translunar coast phase and uh, undocking, or the tr transposition and docking sequence. Kennedy Launch Control.
Go. CBGS, the LTC 111. Go. Request range monitor, C band, and GMIL monitor, IUCCS during power transfer test. CBGS, what go? SRO, you copy? Roger, copy. We're standing by 121. GMIL, you copy? Roger. CBTS, MSTC 111. Come, MSTC. Will uh, spacecraft be going to full internal power right after we get our CTE update at T minus 15 minutes? CBTS copies, thank you. Right. Is the go for five minutes, 20 seconds and counting. Coming up shortly, that swing arm up at the spacecraft level will come back to its fully retracted position. This should occur at the five minute mark in the count. In the meantime, the lunar module telem telemetry has been powered down. We took a good look at Eagle and it looks good. The spacecraft test conductor for the lunar module reported that eagle was go. The swing arm now coming back to its fully retracted position as our countdown continues. T minus four okay, minutes, 50 seconds and on counting. Time. Skip Chauvin informing the astronauts that the swing arm now coming back. The astronauts will have a few more reports coming up in the countdown. The last business report will be from Neil Armstrong at the 45 second mark in the count when he gives us that as on the final alignment of the stabilization and control system. And while passing the 4 minute 30 second mark in the countdown, still go at this time.
Four minutes, 15 seconds. The test supervisor now has informed launch vehicle test conductor Norm Carlson, you are go, go for launch. From this time down, uh, Carlson uh, handles the countdown as the launch vehicle uh, begins to build up. We're now hitting the yeah, four minute mark. Four minutes mark, four minutes and counting. We are go for Apollo 11. We'll go on an automatic sequence uh, starting at three minutes and seven seconds. Three minutes, 45 seconds and counting. And the final uh, abort check between uh, several key members of the crew here in the control C minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence starts. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower cleared. We've got a roll program. Major Armstrong reporting the roll program, which puts Apollo 11 on a proper heading. Thirty seconds. Right, right, safety is nominal. Roll complete and the pitch is programmed. Roger, roll, roger, pitch. Stand by for one Bravo. Mark one Bravo. One Bravo. One Bravo is a right, right, control mode in the water. Roger, yard, though. Roger. Altitude's two miles. Okay. Roger, how are you, booster? Stand by for mode four capability. Mark, mark, mode four capability. Mode four and Apollo 11 could get into orbit using the service propulsion system now. Altitude is 100 miles, downrange 883 miles. Outboard engine cut off. And ignition. Ignition confirmed, thrust is go. Ignition confirmed, thrust is go, 11. And we have a good third stage now. That guy's just fine. Roger. Keep calm, flight, how are you? We're going to fight. We're going to fight. Velocity 23,128 feet per second. Downrange 1,000 miles. Altitude 101 miles. Yes, sir. I don't know, but it's your uh, put a little blurb in there in two minutes. I think you're increasing the I think it's a TU shift. All on the left, this is Houston. This is good. Everything's still looking good. I just felt like a, a pitch change rather than an acceleration increase. Did you feel that way to you? Okay, we got a lighted horizon. Two, two and a half minutes. Pretty horizon. A fairly smooth ride, you know, it's just a little tiny bit rattling. Nothing like stuff. Each start looks great. Don't think you could do any better. I'm sure I could. I'd do worse if I'd be a, good, a full degree on the right. Switch down. Three minutes. Three minutes. Yeah, we got about one G, Neil. Pressure's good. Well, we got three feet per second. Just under one feet. Mike, we're within three feet per second on that. The car engaged on. Fantastic. Yeah, it's shaking. It's picking up a little bit. They can have three minutes. Yeah. That camera doesn't fall on your face. I checked it, it's locked in there pretty well. We'll hurt the spice here now. Five point five and it is five point five. Nice and right. Apollo eleven, this is Houston. Uh, three and a half minutes. They're still looking good. Your predicted cutoff is right on the nominal. <laughs> Bright star out here must be Venus. Uh, 
forgot to memorize John Mayer's views out the window well enough to say that's Venus or not, but it's sure bright. Oh, we do want to just come back in one minute. Say we have just Venus. Ten feet per second off of those right now. Fine, that's about where it is. Here comes the old sun. Gee, that's going to be bright. Glad I got my card up. I'm glad you did, too. The office was a good idea. A hell of a good idea. But I can't see. Well, I'm on tape, so I'll tell you what I can't see, but I can't see very much. Right. I'm up on 4.30. How you look, folks? That's good. I'm uh, about 14 to be on the second one. The altitude is very good. I'm going to get up. You know, five minutes cut it to the eyes. You guys agree with my mark will be five minutes and ten seconds. Five minutes mark. Okay, so Apollo 11 is this Houston. You are go at five minutes. Magic, we go. Okay, we're just a little bit low on time. Right on it. Y'all. 34 seconds. Yeah, we're going to be 152. Here in Jamie, Paul. We got a G1.2 or 3.13 inch. We just did a lot more than that already. Okay, six. Okay, about five seconds to the There we go, we go. We have cut off. Cut off. 3.3 on the Delta. Delta BC on EMS 3.3. Good. EMS function off. Off. Section pyro arm 260. I got out of, I got out of kilter here. Let's go back to let Buzz pick up on it. Get a little bit ahead of yourself and check it out, okay? Okay, you hear some, uh, you read 11? Buzz, forget I read anything. Not getting any hands. Let's go to how you expect to. Why don't you try to get up high? SDS TVC Turbo Power 1 off. Okay. okay. You want to get Houston on the radio if you can? Yeah. PCM bit rate low? PCM bit rate too low. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Uh, do you read over? Roger, Houston, Apollo 11. Uh, we're reading the VI of 35579er. And the EMS was uh, plus 3.3, over. Roger, plus 3.3 .3 on the EMS. And uh, we copy the VI. Hey, Houston, uh, Apollo 11, that Saturn gave us a magnificent ride. All right, Roger, 11, we'll pass that on, and it certainly looks like you're well on your way now. That was Neil Armstrong praising the launch vehicle. We got, uh, we have no complaints with any of the three stages uh, on that, that ride. It was uh, beautiful. Uh, Roger, we copy. Uh, no transients at staging of any significance. Over. That's right. It was all, uh, all a good ride. Houston, uh, Roger up. Apollo 11, uh, this is Houston. For your information, we expect the maneuver to separation attitude to begin at uh, 3 plus 0, 05 plus 0, 03 and to be completed at uh, plus 0, 09 plus 20. Uh, separation at 3 plus 1, 5 plus 0, 0. Roger. Time to begin maneuver is uh, 30503. Complete 30920. And separation 3 plus 1500. Uh, Roger, that separation should be 3 plus 1503. My error in reading up. Roger. This is Apollo Control. The velocity falling off now. Immediately after shutdown, we're showing 34,000 feet per second.
now at the altitude uh, building, 512 nautical miles. Apollo 11, this is Houston. All the booster functions are proceeding normally. The sequencing is in good shape, and it doesn't look like they're having any problems at all. Over. Roger. Now this is Apollo Control, and we're showing orbital weight now, 138,892.9 pounds. This is Apollo Control at three hours into the mission. Velocity now 31,214 feet per second. Apollo 11's distance from Earth, 1,245 nautical miles. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Our preliminary data indicates a good cut. Alaska over the pole, uh, down to the Yucatan Peninsula, Cuba, northern part of South America, and then I run out a window. Roger, we copy. That was Neil Armstrong with that report. Hey, Houston, Apollo 11, all 12 latches are locked. Uh, Roger 11, this is Houston. Understand, 12 latches locked. And that was Buzz Aldrin reporting that all 12 of the latches in the docking mechanism had uh, locked. Uh, 11 Houston, uh, whenever you're uh, possessed of a free moment there, we've got this division that was there. Houston, uh, evasive maneuver, SPS GNN, 63481, plus 090, minus 020, GETI, 0044400100, plus 00051, plus all balls plus zero zero one nine or zero roll is your option pitch two one three three five seven noun 44 is na delta vt zero zero are on and we're going to cycle the o2 fan uh, Roger, O2 heaters to um, auto, or you can watch them in the on position, and O2 fans bang them on. Apollo 11, this is Houston, over. Houston, Apollo 11. Uh, Roger, in reference to your question on RTS usage, uh, it looks like you're about uh, 18, maybe 20 pounds uh, below nominal for present time. No problem at all, over. Right. Why did the 18, 20 pounds above nominal, babe? Sorry about that. This is Apollo Control at 4 hours, 34 minutes. Apollo 11's velocity is 14,972 feet per second. Its distance from Earth is 15,895 nautical miles. Spacecraft weight, 96,760.9 pounds. We're about five minutes away from the evasive maneuver. That one sure uh, there will be no problems of recontact between the spacecraft and the S-4B stage of the launch vehicle. Eleven uh, Houston, your systems are looking good. We're standing by for the burn. The duration of this burn will be three seconds. Delta V, 19.7 feet per second. 
ignition. Shut down. Houston Apollo 11, could you confirm that pitch gimbal motor number one turned off? We just shut all four off and we've got a questionable indication on the uh, TCF on uh, pitch one. Uh, just stand by a second. Apollo 11, this is uh, Houston. Stand by, please. Go ahead, Houston. You copy our residual? Uh, right, sir. We got uh, zero, zero, and point 0.2, it looks like. Uh, we had uh, point 0.1 a while ago. It just went to point 0.2. Okay. And EMF Delta V counter is minus 4.0. Minus 4.0, roger. Right? And how about pitch gimbal one? Can you confirm that off? Uh, can you stand by just a second on that? Uh, at the present time, we cannot confirm it off. We saw uh, a current drop indicating that uh, several gimbal motors had gone off. We'll be back with you in just a second on it, over. Okay. That's very weak, thanks. Uh, Apollo 11, this is Houston. Uh, if you go ahead and cycle pitch gimbal motor number one, on and then off and give us a mark and we'll tell you what we say over. Okay, fine. Uh, it's coming back on. Ready? Mark. And going back off. Ready? Mark. And that time we got an onboard indication, Houston. Thank you a lot. Uh, Roger. We can... Which was read on Apollo 8 last Christmas. <laughs> the uh, cabinet and members of Congress with emphasis on the Senate and House Space Committees have been invited along with a number of other guests. Buzz, your son Andy got a tour of MSC yesterday. Your uncle Bob Moon accompanied him on the visit, which included the uh, LRL. Among the... Thank you. Thank you. Roger. Among the uh, large headlines concerning Apollo this morning is one asking that you watch for a lovely girl with a big rabbit. An ancient legend says a beautiful Chinese girl called Chang'o has been living there for 4,000 years. It seems uh, she was banished to the moon because she stole the pill of immortality from her husband. You might also look for her companion, a large Chinese rabbit, who is easy to spot since he is always standing on his hind feet in the shade of a cinnamon tree. The name of the rabbit is not reported. Okay, we'll keep her close by with the bunny girl. <laughs> Roger. Uh, you residents of the spacecraft Columbia may be interested in knowing that today is Independence Day in the country of Columbia. 6651 plus 0.51, over. Both a good ring back, now. Got time to get a docking out uh, early. Uh, you satisfied with the uh, LTZ dump test, over? I understand you passed the LTC self-test, over. We don't have high-bit rate TM, Captain. I don't think uh, there's a Actually, I was asking you if you were satisfied with it. As far as I can tell, it's satisfactory. And also, uh, the uh, primary of that flow was actuated uh, to number one at 9605, over. Roger, copy on the primary of that. We got the low bit rate, Buzz. We couldn't see that LTC self-test, over. Okay. Columbia, the docking uh, tunnel index angle remains unchanged. Roger, copy out. Copy flight. Okay, that's plus 2.05. Right. Uh, Houston, uh, Eagle is going to secondary Go transmitter receiver and secondary power amplifier. Stand by. And I'll check with you in 60 seconds, over. Okay, here comes your secondary check. Stand by, over. Understand. Hi, guys. Hello, guys. Look at Sam's thing. Hello, guys. 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 Hello, guys.
Roger, how far are you in committing maneuvers to the MPT? Right now we have DOI and CDI inside. Okay, you got zero. One, zero, one, eight, eight, nine. Now 33, one, zero, two, four, four, two, seven, zero, zero. TDI uh, plus 12 burn time is uh, zero, four, six. Oh. Is there going to be any burn time for DOI on the is on the zero yeah. three zero. No, these are the correct lines. Right back over. Uh, All right, your DOI P seventy six eighty four is minus zero zero seven five eight. All balls plus zero 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 nine eight at one oh one thirty six fourteen zero zero plus zero one. Two two three minus all balls plus zero one eight eight niner one oh two four four two seven zero zero burn time uh, forty six and thirty seconds. Roger one era uh, Columbia on the TIG for DOI. A second was one four zero seven over. GNC for flight. Still got the load. Right, one four zero seven. Right. What was that at? Still got rotation control power. Columbia Houston, we'd like you to turn off your rotational uh, direct rotational control power direct number two off over. Flight guidance. Go guide. Okay, we still have a P-52 on the ramp waiting for that. Roger. Just finished his P-30 there. Right. P-30 yes, targeting. Flight. FAO. Okay. Just now moving the antenna out of the way for the Okay. Right. Right. Fire from guys. Okay. The uh, help, the Eagle is attempting to drive the radar without the uh, switching the LGC position. I think it's has a problem, sir. Okay. Okay, we need to run the radar to LGC. Uh, Stand by. Control. Go ahead, control. Why is that? I, I missed that. Why was that? The Eagle is attempting to uh, drive the oh, drive the uh, Right to the radar with the LGC would be in proper state. Kind of did. Yeah. Yeah. There he's gone. He just, he just did the right thing. Got some fighter one over there. He just did the right thing. Right. On the left. He just did the LGC fly. Columbia Houston, uh, on those P 76s, uh, friendly reminder from your fighter, uh, add half the burn time to the TIG. Over. Flight. Go flight. Uh, let's check the uh, steerable angles for next act. 219 at plus 30. That's a firm flight. Okay. How's he doing on that 52 guys? Target down. He's marked. Down to like a puller. That's six minutes to go, go for DOI. This is Apollo Control. We're coming up on 15 minutes now until loss of signal with the lunar module. Flight Director Gene Kranz has uh, advised his flight controllers to review all of their data, take a good close look at the uh, spacecraft. Uh, in preparation for a go-no-go -go decision on the descent orbit insertion. Flight Telcom, go Telcom. We lost data if you cannot reacquire half of it. Roger. Uh, he's doing, you know, same thing happened in uh, 10. 
This is Houston, F2, 1160 a second for shadow photography on the sequence camera.
Hornet PAO, repeat please. Uh, Roger, Houston, PAO, Revenue 1 has visual contact at 3 9. Uh, correction, Airboss 1 has visual con has contact. The Hornet reports Airboss 1 has visual contact. Houston through Araya, standing by. Over. Houston PAO, this is Hornet PAO. Uh, we are slightly garbled on that James F. Airbus 2 reported contact. Airbus 2 reported contact. By recovery, air boss instead of visual contact. Apollo right. 11 Houston and the blind, uh, air boss says the visual contact. Say again, blind. Say again, air boss. I mean, visual contact. The visual contact. The Hornet now reports a visual contact. Visual contact from the recovery ship. Thirteen thirty. No. And one sixty nine. Fifteen. What? 
Okay, that's uh, that's should be on the main chips now. Roger that, boy. I used the CAO, and the CAO at Sonic Boom was reported to have been heard on board the Hornet. The Hornet heard the Sonic Boom. We had Sonic Boom, right? Okay. Hornet reports a Sonic Boom a short time ago. Recovery, flight. Go ahead, flight. Uh, it is daylight out there, isn't it? Right now, we got sun up. Yeah, they got light. They okay. got light. Got a live picture on TV. You got a live picture on TV. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's supposed to be 10 minutes before sunrise. Right, just kind of right. We're just under uh, four minutes to landing. Continue to monitor for any conversation between the spacecraft and recovery forces, but we will not initiate a call from now on to the spacecraft from the control center.
flight recovery, the three bags are visible at this time. And it's, uh, Thank you. 